that your body is a good gift from God and that he wants you to affirm your body as part of your identity. He does not want to see you fragmented, fractured, divided between your body and your mind. Do we live in a cosmos operating by blind material causes or a cosmos created by a loving creator, which is therefore intrinsically good? And therefore, I should be treating my body as intrinsically good. And see, here's where we need time to talk to our friends um, as opposed to just saying, well, you know, yes or no, right or wrong. We want to say, well, the Christian ethic is based on the, on the conviction that your body is a good gift from God and that he wants you to affirm your body as part of your identity. He does not want to see you fragmented, fractured, divided between your body and your mind. You know, the question is, if your mind and your body are, uh, are in contradiction to each other, which one do you go with? Well, your body is the one that actually is, doesn't change. There's, uh, there's a statistic here that um, you should memorize. <laughs> we should all memorize. Uh, Lisa, Di Lisa Diamond is a senior researcher with the American Psychological Association. And she was a person who first discovered that sexual identity is sometimes fluid. You know, you hear the, top, the concept a lot now, sexuality being fluid. Well, all that came out of Lisa Diamond. She was the one who first started uh, asking people, okay, you identify as lesbian or gay. What was the last time you had um, an attraction to the opposite sex? And she was discovered that for many people, it was last week, it was last month, you know, that many people who had come out as, as uh, non-heterosexual actually had a lot of heterosexual feelings still. And that's why she came up with the notion of fluidity. So here's the, stati here's the statistic. Of people who come out as non-heterosexual, 80%, 80% change their sexual identity label at least once, at least once, which means sometimes it's more. 80% who come out as non-heterosexual change their sexual identity label at least once. What that means is, yes, your feelings definitely do change. Your body doesn't. But even among non-heterosexuals, their feelings do change. And so it is rational to say, well, maybe, maybe I should take a second look and think more about well, how, how does my body form my identity? And should I maybe be giving greater emphasis to my body as something that's good and something that I should value? Um, and, and maybe I should investigate why I feel uncomfortable with my body. Maybe there's some psychological reasons for that. And the, but the message, the overwhelming message should be the Christian ethic is based on valuing your body, your physical identity, living in harmony with who God made you. You want the time to talk to somebody to where you can give that context. That is the reason for the Christian ethic. That's the only way you're going to win people over, but that will win people over. A positive message like that. The body, you know, we live in a cosmos created by a loving God, and our body is therefore intrinsically good. Nobody else is telling them that. So the Christian view, you know, if we rephrase our language so it's positive and, and uh, affirming like that, I think then we'll get a hearing in a postmodern world.